I think um, <clears throat> the way that Deke uh, and, and Bob and, and everybody sort of perceived Elliot's skill sets were, were largely cerebral. I think that he was, uh, any time I would ask any of the old timers when we were out doing the, the research at the NASA <clears throat> facilities, they would describe Elliot as studious. I think he was uh, regarded highly a as a, um, an evolved mind and uh, a forward thinker and a, uh, an out-of-the-box thinker. These guys were living and experiencing these missions and their lives on, on the very brink of life and death. And um, it was a very brave thing that all of these guys were doing. And though Elliot was soft-spoken and cerebral, he was one of the new nine, you know, so he, was, he certainly made the cut and meant, was meant to be there. And so uh, we get to see in this film, you know, the focus that it took and, and the control of themselves and their emotions that it took to actually carry out these feats. Um, and, you know, that's an important thing to communicate, particularly for me. It's something that I respect personally, um, their capability under pressure and uh, certainly their excellence under pressure. Uh, it's something that I, I feel is important we portray correctly. It is going to feel like a glimpse into this period like almost like a documentary, but also kind of a love letter to this era and these uh, these people and the sacrifices they made and the the just the incredible feats of humanity that went into the whole program. I can't say enough about Damien. Um, I've had the luxury of the gift of working with some of the greats as far as directors, and I, I'm, we're in the presence of greatness with him. He is as good as anyone I've ever been around. Um, so we had a meeting, I hadn't read the script, I didn't need to read the script. He was two for two as far as I'm concerned, and those were two of the best movies that I saw in those, in those years. So I said yes on the spot. He's a searcher as an actor. He wants to be great from what I've seen. And um, it's been incredibly enjoyable. He's, he's focused and he's, you know, he's finding Neil. And you don't find it all on the first page, the first frame of the film, hopefully. And he, this is what he's doing is it, 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 it takes you on a journey. And, and it's quite a journey, man. He's, I, I, I've loved working with him. We had his sons there, and you, you can't help but, I mean, you don't have a soul if you don't get moved by seeing those two on our piece, just loving being there. Somewhere in there, you'll feel that. You may not know, people may not know, but they'll feel us feeling them being there, and it, it, was, it was incredible. Now, everyone who has seen Raiders of the Lost Ark will tell you that the best scene in the film is when Indiana Jones is confronted by a skilled swordsman during a chase scene. Instead of picking up a sword and dueling with him as the script said he should, hmm, Harrison Ford improvised by pulling out his pistol and shooting the swordsman instead. It was all thanks to a bout of food poisoning that left Ford too sleep deprived and sluggish to do another big action scene.